Okay, so before we begin our coil pottery piece, we need to create a little bit of a stencil first, or a template, if you will, to help us keep on track with our shape. So you're going to want to use a ruler for this, and you are probably going to want to aim for your piece to be eight inches to maybe even a foot long, okay? So the ruler is 12 inches here. You need to decide that, okay? Now, depending on what you're doing, it might be eight inches wide compared to eight inches or nine inches tall. That is up to you. Um, but I'm just gonna do some loose measuring here. So I want mine to be, uh, I think I want mine to be about nine inches tall. So what I'm going to do is starting at the bottom of the paper here. Um, and I would recommend using a pencil for this. I'm just using a Sharpie just so you guys can see a little bit easier. Okay, so here's the nine inch mark. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a tally there. As I know, that's how tall it needs to, to go. And then basically what you're gonna do is you are going to kind of draw, like what do you want the overall shape to be, okay? So I'm gonna create a line that goes straight across here, even though my piece won't go straight across, but that'll just give me the indication of where I need to stop. But then from there, you might decide, okay, what do I want my piece to look like? And you're actually going to draw that, okay? So for instance, maybe I want mine to start off small and I want it to kind of be kind of like a round shape like this, okay? If I want this to be my shape, go, go for it. You can kind of draw it on the other side too um, to kind of see what it will look like. That's kind of a rough drawing. So you might say, oh, I kind of like that. Okay, but I don't really need to worry about this side. So what you're gonna worry about is this side over here. And once you're like, okay, I got it. That's the shape that I wanna do. Um, and I'm gonna clean mine up a little bit here. Make a little bit more round. So then you're going to cut this side out. Okay, so I'm cutting this out on this side. Now, I don't really care about the rest of this anymore. Okay, so basically we're gonna use this to help us create our form. So every once in a while, as you start building, we'll actually hold it up, and I know it's kind of hard to see from the side here, but we'll hold it up to the side to see if it matches with our, um, with our clay piece, okay? So pick your shape. This will be the first thing that you do before you start building with clay. The second thing that you're going to need to do is you're gonna to want to start with a bottom or a base that we're actually gonna build up on on top of. So if we were kind of thinking of it like this, this is what's gonna be the bottom, um, and this is how that shape would go out, okay? So I would recommend tracing a circle. Um, this one was probably a little bit too small. This one's probably a little bit too big, but we're gonna go with it anyway. I'm gonna kind of just cut um, the bigger one out, and then you will see how I use it in this next part. All right, so do your best to make it as best you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we are ready to start building. So I have my couple pieces of stencils here that I'll use as my template. Um, and if things change a little bit, that's okay. But you're going to start rolling your coils. And the first thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna need this base nearby, okay? And for this bottom part, we actually want, um, this is, we're creating the base of our clay piece. So we want it to be pretty sturdy, a little bit thicker, not quite this thick, but maybe about the thickness of your index finger and we're actually going to smooth it out. Okay, so you see I have a pretty long, thick coil here. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any slipping and scoring right now. I am actually going to start just by coiling this around like I'm making a, a snake or a little snail shell, okay? So then I'm kind of aiming to help me figure out, okay, how much bigger do I need that to go? So it's still a little bit small, so then I'm gonna take a little extra clay and I'm gonna add this in, trying to get the same thickness though. Okay. 
So I'm going to add this around. All right, so I'm going to call that good, even though it's not. Well, I'll finish this little, add a little piece, just a little sliver to that side. Okay, so it looks pretty circled now, circular. So we can get rid of this paper. Don't need it anymore for this part. Um, but then what we're going to do is using your clay tools or using your hands, we are going to start smoothing this out to create our base. Okay, so we really want this as smooth as we can get it. Um, it is up to you, because this is going to be the bottom, I and mean, make sure to pick it up. It's up to you. You can choose to keep this spiral in here, um, or you can go ahead and smooth it out on both sides too. It's really just a preference. Um, I'm actually going to just smooth mine out just to add, add a little bit of extra support. Okay, so from here, both sides are now smoothed out. Um, you'll see that it kind of got away from my original shape just a little bit. So if you need that to retrace it out, please do that. Or maybe you're like, you know what? That got a little too big. I need to make it smaller. Feel free to find something to um, circular to trace around with. I think that's a little too small for, for what I want. But other than that, you can kind of, if you want to freehand it, but you might want to find something that's a little bit more circular okay so trim up anything that you need and then we are going to be able to start building on top of this next 